Welcome back to the 18th episode of Flippin' Friday, ladies and gentlemen. And today, we're not just building a super unique color scheme in our gaming PC today, but this build actually costs less than $700. And with the part selection that I have here, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna be able to flip this for close to, if not exactly $1,000. So this is gonna definitely be a high profit gaming PC flip. And even if you're not into PC flipping, this is just gonna be a really good personal system as well for around $700. So. Let's get started. First up for our performance parts, the CPU that we're using today is the Intel i5-10400F. Pick this up on a really good deal on Mercari for just $90. Another good deal is the motherboard it's plugging into, which is the NZXT N7Z490. You almost never see these on really good sales. This was $83 on Amazon Warehouse, so I absolutely had to buy that. For the RAM, this is the typical Glowway white 2 by 8 gigabyte kit clocked at 3200 megahertz. This is usually at like 50 to $55, but it was on a very weird Amazon sale down to $42, so that's another good one. And then finally for the graphics card, we got the XFX Swift 210 RX 6600 XT. I bought this from somebody in the Discord server for $300 exactly, but you can repeat that deal as well. All of these are really solid starts for a gaming PC flip. Starting with the CPU, this 10400 is actually quickly becoming the new meta for any budget to mid-range flip, and I'm actually such a huge fan of it. I've been consistently seeing these 10400Fs go for less than $100. This is now the third one that I've bought in like three weeks around 90-ish dollars, and I think it's because of a lot more people are getting on Intel 12th gen because motherboards like B660 are getting lower and lower in price. And with Intel 13th gen coming right around the corner, people are starting to upgrade and get rid of their Intel 10th gen CPUs. So you really love to see it. It's awesome that these are actually getting lower and lower in price. The 10400F is definitely a CPU to look out for. Before moving on though, we gotta take a quick second to thank and honestly rightfully promote today's video sponsor, Corsair, and specifically their new budget-friendly HS65 surround gaming headset. This certainly welcomed and affordable option from Corsair isn't skipping out on features to Despite the price, it's rocking Dolby Audio 7.1 surround sound for PC and Mac. It also has Sonarworks Sound ID technology, and I'm personally a huge fan of the overall build quality and feel with this foam and mesh ear cup design. It's also pretty cool that you can create a unique audio profile specifically how you like it. It works on pretty much every platform, including consoles like PS5, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. And there's even a white option that looks amazing as well. Grab your HS65 with the links down in the description and let Corsair know with me that we want to see more budget products like this in the future. I'm not sure if you could tell how much I was struggling installing this CPU cooler, but I definitely wanted to document that this is not an installation process that I would recommend pursuing. This is the up here N10. I thought I've used this before, specifically the black model, and I only bought this one because it's all white, no RGB. It's exactly aesthetically what I was looking for in a build like this, but the installation process was just awful. So it was already tough to do inside a motherboard where there's this super beefy top VRM heatsink because the backplate for the actual CPU cooler barely fit in there. We only have like one millimeter of clearance. So that was already tough to finagle in there. And then these screws here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but these are supposed to have a Phillips thread on them. So you can use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten them down properly. But since they don't, the only thing you could do is hand tighten them or if you use like some needle nose pliers or whatnot. So that like is actually a mistake in the manufacturing. And there's only one set of hardware for every single type of socket, one back plate, one attachment plate and all that. It was kind of confusing, not a big fan of the installation process, but at the end of the day, aesthetics over everything, and our motherboard is fully prepped and it's looking pretty solid. Three, 
cable combed already from a previous build. It's lucky. Now that the power supply is prepped with cable extensions and the vinyl wrap, I did wanna quickly give the disclaimer that this is an EVGA 750 GT, and this is absolutely overkill for a build like this. You 100% do not need 750 watts of power for a 10400F and a 6600 XT, but these went on a crazy EVGA B stock sale for just $40, and honestly, I bought like 10 of them with my multiple EVGA B stock accounts. Just something to be aware of, you definitely don't need 750 watts of power for for a build like this. Next up we have the case and this I'm actually really excited about. This is the DIY PC S08G and I've actually seen quite a few community members in our ZTT Discord server submit their community builds with this case. And if you don't already know, we have a community builds channel where we feature one build from the community every single day. And like I said, I've seen this used many times before, but I've never seen it in this like, I don't even know, like what kind of green is this? I, it just said green. I thought it was gonna be a little bit darker, but the color scheme we're going for is green, black, and all white. So that's why I'm gonna be filling it full of all white fans. We had that white CPU cooler in there, the white RAM sticks, and even the white vinyl wrap. So I think it's gonna look cool. I'm not 100% sure. I wouldn't necessarily recommend buying the green model if you are trying to copy this for a PC flip. You're definitely significantly lowering the amount of people that would be interested in buying your PC with it being this color. But I think it's gonna look cool. Let's start putting some parts in it. fan to get to the connector. Oh, it's still gonna be awful because the cable management. Oh boy. Oh my God, that was so lucky. That was ridiculously lucky. The case just doesn't have a ton of room to begin with. This might not happen. It's all for the aesthetics, all this work. The last part to install is our XFX Swift 210 RX 6600 XT. And like I mentioned in the intro, I actually bought this from Warman in our Discord server for $300. And that was a pretty good deal at the time, but already now, just a couple months later, that is very repeatable. And if you are trying to copy this at home and you can't find the 6600 XT for 300, feel free to just swap this in for a 6600 and you'll be perfectly fine. I would recommend the XFX Swift model aesthetically, of course, just because it's such a minimal and versatile graphics card. It just has minimal branding. It's all black and white. It'll match perfectly with these style of builds. And once we plug in these cable extensions, we are essentially done with the build and I can already tell I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And I do think it's worth mentioning again that I wouldn't necessarily recommend you going with this green, white, and black color scheme. This would still look amazing even if you copied every single thing here, but then just got like a black case or a, a less loud and vibrant case color. That would be perfectly fine as well. But this is what it's looking like overall. I'm pretty happy with it.
And here you have the full parts list. And like I said, I paid $696 for everything here. And a lot of these are good, but also repeatable deals. That NZXC N7Z490 motherboard for only $83 on Amazon Warehouse was definitely a tough find, but you definitely don't need to use this expensive of a motherboard for a build like this. And if you do want to see what the 10 400 f and RX 6600 XT are capable of, same of course has us covered with a quick 10 game benchmarking run and here are the results. As you would expect, this has no problem cruising through some 1080p gaming action and our temperatures stay pretty solid as well with this case and cooling setup. And as always, this build will be for sale over on my own website, zaxtechdrift.com. This will be posted on our September 1st launch. And if you are interested in buying one of my builds, please remember that they sell super quickly on the website. So make sure you join us in the Discord server so you get all the updates for that. And be sure to let me know down in the comment section what you're thinking of the aesthetics of this mint, white, and black color scheme. And as always, feel free to click the playlist that's on the screen now. That way you're fully caught up on all the Flippin' Friday episodes and I'll catch you guys in the next video.